Okay, here we go. Uh, we're right back at it with our Metolius River series. Uh, I want to emphasize these are not intended as to be accurate uh, histor historical accounts of the Metolius and the fishery. These are simply the recollection, recollections of an old guy who used to fish there when he was a kid. That's all it is, just some basic entertainment value here. I hope, anyway. So, I was fishing the Metolius in the summers for sure, 63 and 4 on, through uh, when I went into the Navy in uh, 71. And what, uh, what was the tackle that we fished back then? Um, Initially, I had a glass rod. I'm pretty sure it was an eagle claw glass rod. Um, kind of a yellow color. Not, not really yellow, but kind of... Uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Kind of yellowish tan or something. Tannish yellow. I'm pretty sure it was... An, oh, no, no, it wasn't an eagle claw. It was a Wright McGill. And if my memory is halfway accurate, it was a seven foot, seven foot what? Seven foot seven weight. Um, and I had a scientific angler's line. It was brown. Uh, we didn't, we couldn't afford the ivory, the air cell supreme. Uh, we probably just had it, uh, air cell. And I don't remember what kind of leaders I used initially. Um, but that, that oh, oh and, and I had a Fluger Metalist fly reel, uh, probably a 1494 or 1495. Um, and uh, so that's what I brought to the Metolius. And the flies I fished, um, when I fished the Cascade Lakes, like Round Lake and Brook Lake and um, Brook and Jude um, and Olali, I fished an Adams or a uh, Blue Upright, which we'd now call a Calabatus. So an Adams, um, a blue winged upright, and first that wing was too long, that was too short. Let's try to get it right in the middle. I also fished a caddis bucktail. Um, caddis bucktail, orange. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I fished a caddis bucktail. I may have had some yellow bodies, but I generally preferred the uh, orange body in the caddis bucktail. Um, of course, the Royal Coachman bucktail, if I haven't mentioned that already. What else? Boy, I don't remember. Oh, mosquito. So mosquito, Adams, blue upright, caddis bucktail, Royal Coachman bucktail. That was it. Now when I fished the Metolius, I think I mostly was fishing the caddis and the uh, caddis and the atoms. Those were my Metolius flies. Now I later, um, uh, actually fairly early in, in the time when I was fishing Metolius, I met a gentleman, his name was Jim Beggs. His family had a uh, they owned the cabin that was right at the confluence of the Metolius and Spring Creek. Beautiful place there. And he had been fishing the Metolius for years and years and years, and he, I learned so much from him. And he in turn learned from other people, as is usually the case. And Jim taught me about parachute flies. He taught me about the Adams parachute, the female Adams, uh, the Fulton Fool, the giant Coachman Special, 
and the green drake although the green drake he referred to as the uh i got a couple fibers sticking out there what i would now call a green drake he called a mckenzie special parachute and it was a big parachute uh, and it had a it had a uh, boy i'm having a hard time getting that it had an olive ostrich hurl body uh, so those were the flies he introduced me to and what oh yeah his so his rod he fished a cane rod bamboo rod and i remember it was a seven and a half foot seven weight and he had himself a had himself he fished an sa air cell supreme ivory and I remember how beautiful that line was when he would cast. And he could cast much further than I could. And he taught me, tried to teach me how to do the lazy S cast. Which you, uh, you make your cast and then you, you wiggle your rod like this. And it basically lays out a bunch of um, S's. Um, so that was uh, that cast was useful and we fished oh so he introduced me to the gladding gladol leader which uh i don't know if it, if they all were but they were dark green nine foot they either came in seven and a half or nine foot that was standard and we always bought six x liters two pound uh, it might have been 2.2. I don't. I'm not sure. Probably just two pound. 1963-64. Very limp leaders. Very strong leaders. Um, uh, surprisingly strong. For the rating. Um, so the the idea in um, in making a cast was to throw a lot of slack in the cast and in the leader because while the current you'd make your cast and while the current was um was taking come on come on while the current was taking uh the slack out of your line and your leader your fly would be floating free and that drag free drift was essential to um, to getting a fish to take without without the drag free drift you were out of the game no question about it so um, my reel was a fluger I don't think Jim was fishing a fluger I think he probably had a hardy of some kind but I'm really not sure Oh, waiters. So Jim wore, I'm pretty sure they were seal dry. The, the old latex seal dry waiters. Um, my folks would not let me wear waiters, so I waited the Metolius bare-legged. But I did, uh, I got myself some canvas felt sold wading shoes uh, i remember jim had some he wore felts and they were nice leather felts um what's this cat doing here huh what's this cat doing here so he had leather felts and seal dries i had uh i would wear shorts and my canvas felt waiting soles we did both have we had polaroid glasses um wouldn't ever want to be there without polaroids uh, i think that covers our tackle now um jim taught me about the drag free drift and uh, oh the size of the flies so very typically we would fish 
I'm hesitating. I think 10s and 12s. I think before I met Jim, I pretty much only fished size 10s. So what, what Jim taught me was that there are times when you had to fish a 12 because your 10 would be rejected. And there are times when you wanted to fish an eight um, when the bigger bugs were hatching. So it was, uh, boy, he, Jim taught me so much. Oh yeah, mucilin. We floated our flies with mucilin. Uh, had the little red tin. So thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you hope you had a little bit of fun thinking about how we used to fish the Metolius in those days. And so thank you for joining me. Uh, I will be getting into some other things in another story. So until next time, thank you for joining me.